Hello everyone, welcome to Theme World. So in this video, we're gonna learn about content restriction in WordPress. Basically give access to or restrict access to certain pages and posts depending on maybe the user role, the user's login state, or even memberships. The plugin I'm gonna show you in this video helps you create memberships on your WordPress site for free as well. And yeah, we're gonna go about three different ways of content restriction. First one being locking down the entire site and only giving access to guest users to certain pages or posts. And the second one is basically leaving your site accessible to the entire public while locking down a few different pages to different user roles, etc. And finally, we're also going to learn about partial content restriction, where you can restrict certain parts of posts or pages to different users. So yeah, buckle up. Let's get started with this video. But before we do, you know the drill. You got to drop a like and subscribe. Okay, here we are within the computer screen. Now let's get started with content restriction in WordPress. First of all, let's go ahead and let's install our plugin for this video. Simply go within plugins, click on add new plugin, and the plugin is user registration. Once you've done that, you should see this plugin right here, user registration and membership. Simply click on install now. And this plugin is not just a content restriction plugin. This gives you an entire registration system. If you want to create and sell memberships, you can do that. It basically enhances and really improvises the default WordPress registration system. So yeah, just install and activate it and as soon as the plugin has been activated you'll be redirected to their setup wizard now we're simply going to skim over this as quickly as possible right now let's go ahead and choose normal registration if you want to sell memberships from your wordpress site you can do that as well but that is not the scope of this video i have created a different video for that be sure to check out the description there will be some videos related to membership registration as well but for now default registration it is and so it has done a few different changes within your registration behavior first of all it has created an entirely new registration form for you a custom registration registration form which you can edit if you want to. It has enabled guest registration and has disabled the default WordPress login and registration because it is quite frankly pathetic in terms of security, in terms of looks. So yeah, it has been disabled. You can enable it again from the settings. But yeah, for now, this is better. This is recommended. And also it has created a few different pages for you, specifically the My Account page, a login page, a lost password page, and a registration page. So yeah, right now, let's just do next. I'm going to keep all these settings as it is. You can change these settings in the back end as well. So I don't need to worry about it. And here, if you want to receive security updates, feature updates, etc., then you can click on yes, I would like to help. If not, then you can simply scroll down and you can click on view registration page or you can default the registration form. Yeah, but yeah, by default, this right here is our registration form. This is from where users will now register. This is our login form. This is from where users will log into your site. Let me open this on an incognito window where I'm not logged in. So this right here is our login form. And now let's get started with our content restriction. So once you've installed this plugin, you can go within extensions and here you can search for content restriction and simply enable it. Okay, so when you're generally restricting your WordPress website, there is two ways to go about it. First one being you'll log down the entire site and you'll only give access to a certain pages and posts to guest users or you'll let your website be open to public so guest users can come in, they can visit your site but you'll log down a few different pages. So we'll go over both those scenarios. So yeah, let's get started. And also, if you want to learn more about this plugin's registration system, you know, the form that it gives you, the form builder, what features you can use and what other functionality this plugin has there will be a video down in the description that you can check out but for now let's just continue on with our content restriction process okay so first of all let's go ahead with an user registration setting here and from in here you can see content restrictions simply click on it okay so now let's go over the first way of restricting your wordpress website so if you want to lock down your entire site and you only want to give access to a few different pages then this is what you would do you'd simply go here within user registration settings content restriction and you would enable whole site restriction restriction. Now when enable whole site restriction has been toggled on, then it's going to utilize the global restriction settings to restrict your website basically. So now currently our global restriction setting has been set to give access to just the logged in users and our restricted content message is going to be this content is restricted now you can make changes to this content as well so suppose a guest user is visiting our site they will be seeing this message okay so here i've typed out this message which says this website is only available to members if you are a member please log in else please register. So here I'm going to go ahead and render our login form where users can put in their login credentials and they can log in. This right here is the short code user underscore registration underscore login. Now even after this, suppose we want to let users register as well, then you can simply click on add registration form and you can select the form. By default, this plugin gives you a registration form. So I'm just going to select that and I'm going to click on add form. And there it is. We got both our short codes right here. Now if I click on save changes, let me open this site on an incognito window where I'm not going to be logged in, so I'm going to be interacting with this site as a total guest user. So yeah, as soon as I go in, so here you can see 
I'm not able to access the website and yeah, don't mind the design. This is a completely new website. I've not set up the theme. I've not set up anything here. So that is why the forms are looking kind of like this. Okay, here I've made it look a little bit better by adding a, a bit of custom CSS. But yeah, this is what your website would look like to anyone that is a guest basically interacting with your site when you've enabled global restrictions so your entire site is on lockdown. This is what it will look like for them. Now, obviously, you can make this thing much, much better utilizing more text, formatting, images, etc. But there's also another way of handling this and that is to give access to certain pages. So now let's go over how to give access to certain pages when your entire site is on lockdown. So now to give access to certain pages when your site is on complete lockdown will be to go within pages. And suppose I want, I've got this page right here called Fighter or you know what, even better, I've got this login page right here for which I want to give access to the users. So here what I would do is I would simply go ahead, I would click on edit. You can see the setting here already. If your page is a little bit lengthy, you might have to scroll down and then you'll see this uh, setting right here called restrict this content. So from in here, what we can do is we can change the content restriction for this specific page by overriding the global setting that we've set within our user registration settings. So we can override the global settings and we can allow access for this page to guest users and we can save it. So now what's going to happen is if I again open this site on an incognito window, then you can see I'm able to access my login page. But now suppose if I were to try and access some other pages, then here again, you can see I'm hit with this content restriction message right here. But yeah, from here, the user can simply log in. You can give access not just to a singular page, but to multiple different pages. And yep, that is about it. If I were to access the site, you see I'm locked out. If I want to access a certain page, I can. And that is how this would work. So now let's move over to the second way of content restriction, where we'll basically leave our site public so guest users anyone on the internet will be able to access our site but if you want to lock down specific pages how do we do that well again from within user registration settings you'll see content restriction this time we're going to disable whole site restriction when our whole site restriction has been disabled our global restriction settings stay as is so this will not change so now as soon as you've turned this setting off and you've saved your changes what's going to happen is let me open this site again on an incognito window here you can see i'm a guest user who is currently not logged in i can access different pages of this website very easily there is currently nothing being restricted you can see all these pages i can access them everything's fine but now if I were to go ahead, go within my pages menu, and suppose I wanted to really lock down this fighter page, I would simply click on edit once again, scroll down below so that we see our individual page restriction setting. And from in here, what I can do is I can restrict access to this page or post. And if I just clicked on this checkbox, then what's gonna happen is it's going to utilize the global restriction setting that we had. So if I were to go back once again, within our user registration settings, you can see this right here is our global restriction setting. If I turn this checkbox on, then it's going to utilize this setting. And yeah, now let me save this. Again, if I were to interact with this site like a normal guest user, then what's gonna happen is our fighter page, if I try to access it. So here you can see it's going to ask me to log in if I'm already a member. If I'm not, then it's going to ask me to register. So yeah, this is how things will work. And still, I since I'm a guest user and my entire site is open to the public, I can still access all the other different pages. Now suppose you want to add another layer to this. Your site is open to public, but now if you want to give access to this page only to a certain user role, then what you can do is, again, from within your page restriction settings, you can go ahead, you can override the global restriction setting and you can make it so this page is only available to certain roles, certain memberships, since this plugin lets you create memberships as well, you can do that. But for now, for the simplicity of it, let's go ahead, let's choose roles. And here, let's choose the subscriber role to be able to access this page. Right, so let's go ahead, let's save it. Let me go back. And suppose if I were to edit my reader page here, and if I were to again go down within my page restriction settings, I were to restrict this page, and I were to override the global restriction setting here, and suppose I were to give access to this page only to contributors, save it then now what's going to happen is again here i'm a totally guest user i'm not logged in if i were to access the fighter page you can see it's in lockdown for me i cannot access this page my reader page is in lockdown as well but now let me try to log in here as a subscriber so here if i were to log in as a test user who currently has a subscriber role if i click on login then you can see i can access the fighter page but since we gave access of this reader page only to contributors, here you can see I cannot access the contents of this page. Here you will have to change a few different things like you'll have to change the message here. But yeah, you get the gist. This page is in lockdown as well. Now let's also go over partial content restriction. 
So partial content restriction basically means if you want to restrict just parts of the pages and posts, then that is when you would use partial content restriction. Now there's two ways to use partial content restriction. Suppose this part of the readers page, like this section that you see right here, this group, if I wanted to hide this section from guest users and I only wanted to show this section to logged in users, then this is what I would do. I would use partial content restriction and there's two ways to use it. First one being this short code right here, or for the ease of it, you can also utilize blocks. You can see here we have a content restriction block. Suppose I were to drag and drop this block within my page. Now what I can do is I can go here within my layers menu and I can grab this entire group, place it within this content restriction block, give it a access or a restrict control. And suppose I only want this page or this section to be viewed by subscribers. I can save it here. And now again, let me open this site on an incognito window. Let me try to log in here as a subscriber. But here you can see I, I really cannot access the reader page. And why is that? Well, that is because I have still enabled restriction for this page. Let me just turn off restriction for this page entirely. Save it. Now here, if I refresh this page, then here you can see I can access the page and I can access this section as well because currently I am logged in as a subscriber. Now, let me try and log out here. Reader. Now here you can see our global restriction setting and its message is currently being shown. And if I were to scroll down, I can still view other parts of this page. So yeah, this is working just fine. Now, again, I'm going to tell you this once again. I've not worked on the design of this website. Okay, so everything is looking a little bit off here. But please bear with me. You can utilize blocks. You can set its width, etc. And yeah, this will look just fine for you. You probably also want better content. This co the content that I've used here is terrible. So yeah. Just letting you know this is how partial content restriction works as well and regarding content restriction that is not about it all this stuff that i've shown you here in this video you can do all those for free which should be enough for a lot of users but if you want additional restriction if you want advanced content restriction or conditional content restriction where certain pages and posts are only restricted if certain conditions are met then there is an extension to the content restriction of this plugin which is only available in their premium version i have created a different video for it which you can find it down in the comments below so make sure you check it out. In that video, I go over conditional content restriction, where you can choose to restrict not just pages and posts, but you can also choose post types, taxonomies, post categories, and much, much more. And again, just like I said before, you can set conditions for that as well. So there's many more things. If you want to, you can check that out as well. But yeah, that's about it. So I hope you guys found that video helpful. If you did, drop a like, subscribe. If you want to learn more about content restriction, memberships, the plugin that I showed in this video, then all the helpful links will be down in the description below. Make sure to check those out. And I guess, that is about it. I'm Sid and I'll see you whenever I'll see you. Take care.